Our judges have completed their placings in our milk and yearling class. Placing third in the class is entry 3502, Mackland Dempsey My Button, exhibited by Annie Culbertson of Elgin, Minnesota. Second in the class is entry 3488, Savagely Golden Girl, exhibited by Heatherstone Enterprises of Baraboo, Wisconsin. And the winning entry, first bred and known and best stutter in the class, entry 3491. Seamer's Gold Sun Hey a Dream, exhibited by Crystal Jordan, Josh, Jake, Connor, Lauren Seamer's of Newton, Wisconsin. Congratulations. <laughs> Judge your comments. Well, good morning, uh, Holstein enthusiasts. A uh, great way to start our day. This class has come a long, long ways and uh, quite a tremendous group of heifers here. Let's give them one more round of applause. Most of these individuals fresh one month, so they're trying to figure it out. Uh, they're going to do a lot of changing in the next 30, 60, 90 days. But the cow we're starting with is the cow most on the money today. She's got that dairy strength, width, capacity, and wears easily the best out in the class today. She goes over our second place cow. She's got that overall mass and strength and depth of forehead. She's also harder over the top. And as we analyze the udder, she's got more definition to seam up through the back of the rudder. She's tied on a little nicer in her forewater and also has more extension at the top of the rear udder. I'll grant our cow in second travels just a little more fluid on her rear feet and legs, but doesn't exude that mass to get in the, sec in the first spot today. First, or second over third, it's on the mammary system, the second place cow, second bus udder in the class, is tied on a little nicer and snugger in her forewater attachment, and has a little more width to the top of the rear udder than the cow in third. Lovely balanced cow in third, and she uses her overall dairiness, cleanliness of bone, cleanliness of hide, angle to the rear rib, and cleanliness of bone to the hock to go over this powerful cow, fresh in July, coming out in fourth. Fourth over fifth, the fourth place cow uses that mass, width, and strength, straightness of the lines over the top line to go over this very youthful, stylish uh, cow coming out in fifth. Fifth over sixth, a little closer placing here, the fifth place cow just moves a little nicer on those rear feet and legs, a little stronger in her loin than the lovely otter cow coming out in six. Six over seven, it is because of that beautiful four otter attachment and extension at the top of the rear otter that she goes over this dairy cow coming out in seven. Congratulations to our exhibitors.